Hey everybody, Abby Darkstar here. I get a lot of questions about cosplay. What type of fabrics to use? How can I make this character? What characters can I cosplay? Etc. But one question I get most of all is how can I make my cosplay stand out? And that's a really, really great question. And a lot of people think it has to be something intense, like you have to have an epic weapon or you have to have, you know, lights and sounds and flying things. While those are all cool, sometimes the smallest details can make your costume really, really pop. It shows the fan of whatever cosplay character you're doing that you really paid attention to detail. Let's, let's do some small examples. Everybody knows who Super Sonico is. They know she's probably in a hoodie or maybe even a bikini. How could you make your cosplay stand out? What about a plate of macaroons that you carry around at a convention? And you can offer someone a macaroon. It's a simple way to make your cosplay different. Or what about a banana? What would you use a banana for? Well, if you're the doctor, of course. Again, small, simple, easy details. How about this one? Your bell. You're galloping through the forests of Comic-Con and a little basket and a friend named Chip with you helps to complete that illusion in small ways. Um, or say you're being a Marvel character like Tony Stark. Here's a great way if you're, say, you're with a partner and you really want to make those details come out. You can make a Stark Industries badge, and of course, carry around Mr. Stark's handy folio so he doesn't get his appointments with Pepper and Natasha mixed up. Obviously, I'm dressed as Elizabeth. I have a really small detail right here, my pinky, the thimble. Everybody knows, well, if you played the game, her character, her role with Booker, but how can I make people really, really, really notice the costume? Well, does anyone got a light? A lot of characters that you might want to cosplay may smoke. Now, I don't smoke, I don't advocate smoking, but when I wanted to do Starbuck from Battlestar Galactica, I wanted a solution for her signature cigar. When in the first season, she's sitting there at the table drinking with Ty, and she's smoking her cigar. And I wanted to kind of bring out that badassness that I got from her. So I began looking for a solution and came upon a company called Vepo. Now, because of my asthma and allergies, I don't smoke, again, and I needed something that didn't have all that extra stuff. I just needed something that would light up and look cool. And they had the solution. They had a cigar, so like, okay, how real is this gonna look? Because how many times have we seen prop cigarettes or prop cigars, and they just look kind of weird. Well, you tell me. Looks pretty real to me, Nuggets. It was great. Bonus, it tastes like a Jolly Rancher, so by the end of Comic-Con, I probably went through two or three of these. Um, but there was, there's other characters, like Elizabeth. While everybody can identify who I am, in the first episode of Bioshock Infinite Burial at Sea, she walks into Booker DeWitt's office and asks him for a light. What was I going to do? Again, Beppo to the rescue. And no stink, unless you think Cherry stinks. It's a great solution when you're trying to figure out what to do with these characters that do smoke. It's a safer solution than perhaps wrapping some tape around a real cigar or a real cigarette and sticking it in your mouth for the for a full day. Trust me, it's not the most delicious solution. I hope that some of these tips have helped give you ideas and ways you can make your cosplay stand out. Whether from something as simple as a macaroon to a basket with a little plastic cup in it, I hope that you've gotten some ideas. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or you can ask them on any of my social media at Abby Darkstar. Again, thanks to Vepo for coming up with a great solution to allow us to bring our characters even more to life. I'm Abby Darkstar. I hope you've had fun, and I'll see you online later.